Ocean waves are one of the most powerful forces on Earth. Well, waves are caused by wind blowing across the surface of the ocean. So the energy in the wind is transferred to the waves, and that energy can be carried for thousands of miles across the ocean. Why not harness that energy and put it to use? That's what researchers all over the world are beginning to explore. The uh, devices that have the greatest potential are the ones that sit further out in deeper water, because that's where more energy is in the wave anyway. And so uh, these devices typically sit on the surface of the water, they typically float on the surface of the water, and uh, they, they convert the energy of the wave into electricity uh, using various different means. Some of them uh, use kind of a buoy type device where the up and down motion of the buoy uh, generates electricity. Others uh, use the passing wave to compress air in a chamber, which is then driven through an air turbine. And then still others uh, collect the water of a wave as it passes in a, in a reservoir. And then the water is uh, released through hydroelectric turbines, similar to a floating dam of sorts. So there's many different designs for wave energy conversion devices. The same power that makes wave power such an attractive energy resource is also one of its largest detriments. These are typically some of the harshest environments on Earth. And so the devices have to be able to operate reliably uh, over a long period of time when they're continuously being pounded by waves and also occasionally having to deal with storm conditions. The other question is if, on a large scale, wave energy farms can damage the environment. The reality of it is that uh, we won't really know. I mean, how these devices affect the environment until we start to put them in. So the idea is that you put them in, you know, one at a time, two at a time, and see what kind of effects they have on the environment and confirm that the effects on the environment are benign. And as, as you pr prove that out, you continue to add more and more devices. And once they're proven to be safe and reliable? I'd say in a few years you'll be able to say that there's a, a, a number of operating wave plants around the world.